Right, a lot of people have asked me about my kayak and how I do mind with it because I have a thumb that was badly injured in an accident um, there, which I've virtually got no use of. You can see where I had the scars for the op and there's plates in. Um, I can use the oar a little bit, um, but I tend to get really bad blisters because that thumb doesn't really move. Um, so I loved it so much though I thought well I must be able to do something so I decided to put motors on the bottom of the canoe I'll show you them shortly uh, powered by these two motorcycle batteries uh, the wired in and connect to give 12 volts which is what the controllers do need um, and you can get them cheap enough or whatever just to make sure you can get an hour an hour and a half out of them doing it steady and they go via this plug into this here which there are two control units in there which these are all available from eBay with a couple of switches for direction so I can turn it to reverse and these are the individual controllers for each motor uh, cables are from run from there put them in the side of the boat tie wrapped to the rear of it and they go underneath to here and again these two motors are thruster motors for a submersible which are obtainable again here or anywhere else place if you would wish to have a look um, they're pretty waterproof they are meant really for fresh water but if you wash them out immediately after you've been using them and that these are the same motors I used for quite a few trips last yeah, while I was fiddling on with it and all I did was I mounted the two motors to two individual plates here that you can buy separately which are meant for another inflatable kayak and just put them together mount drill a hole through your original skeg which doesn't do any damage and uh, fit them to that so that both equal these ones are contra rotating one goes clockwise, one goes anti-clockwise, but I don't think it would make much difference if you got two of the same or whatever, um, from what I've found. It just gives you the assistance you need that you may struggle with to paddle completely all the time. This just get, makes it a bit easier. And the gear, all the joints on the cables are soldered and wrapped. Um, not a difficult thing to do, and anybody who's got a little bit of technical knowledge could be able to do it. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I have got a couple of videos on my story on Facebook uh, which shows the boat in use and most of the time you'll probably notice I am not paddling. The reason is I say it does hurt um, uh, but still it means I can get out and do something I possibly couldn't have done before. Okay cheers thank you.